Voila! We are starting a new unit, and it's called music. Musica. And since the letter of this week is the letter M, what a perfect opportunity to read something about music. M is for melody. M is for melody, an alpha and a music alphabet. So this melody is what you hear. That's the melody. Okay. Let's start with all the letters of the alphabet, including M is for melody, and a music alphabet. And this book was written by Kathy Jo Wargin. 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 And here we go with the letter A. See, I gotta get closer to y'all because this book is about what? A, B, C. So, A is for anthem and we are so proud. It's our national song and we sing it loud. National anthem is the song of the country. Wow. B is for brass. Do you hear the sound swell as it flows through the tubing and out through the bell? With trombones and trumpets that shimmer and shine, cornets and tubas and French horns are fine. And these are the brass musicians, the music we have. C is for conductors waving in the air. They direct the music with a special flair. And E and C is for composer. Have you heard of Bach? A composer writes the music from classical to rock. And that's what we have here. We have conductors and composers. Conductors and composers. D. Now D is for the drum mayors. Don't you think they're grand? As they marched and on down the street as leaders of the band. D is also for dynamic. It tells you how to play. Piano means to play it soft. For loud we say forte. Now here's the letter E. Now E is for the early music very long ago, medieval, renaissance, and baroque are three kinds you should know. Bravo, bravo. F is for folk song, and we like to say, it's the music of people, which one shall we play? You see how different they are? These are very different from the one that we just saw on letter E. The letter G is for guitar. You strum or play with picks. Some guitars have 12 strings, others just have six. H is for harmony. It sounds very fine when two or more notes are played at the same time. I is for instrument. Which one will you play? When you join the band, you'll have fun every day. Practice makes perfect. Just like I said, but this one is different. You have the violin, the piano, the... I guess it's like a horn. This one is the rhythm sticks, the trumpet, and the saxophone. Now, J is for jazz. It's a cool music style. It's bl a blend of our cultures, and it makes us smile. There's a Dixie and blues. There's big band and swing. Jazz started it all, and that's why it's a King. K is for keyboard. Do you see the keys? 
when you play with your hands, you tickle the ivories, pianos, organs, harp scorchers, harp, harp scorch. I'm sorry for not pronouncing it correctly. Synthesizers too are all our keyboards we can play. I will try. Will you? L is for lullaby, a lovely song for sleep. Shall we go to bed, my dear? Hush, don't make a peep. M is for melody. A tune is what we hear. When music notes are played in line, a flow into our ear. M, and M is also meter. You can be a music star. When you learn the basic pace is four beats in a bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, N is for notes, and that's this, okay? N is for note. Can you follow along with the notes on the staff you of your favorite song? So these are the notes. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Each note fills a space or sits right on a line. The spaces spell face. The lines spell every good boy does fine. O is for orchestra, where people play as one. Wood, woodwind, strings, percussion, brass. It sounds like so much fun. Encore, encore, please play one more. P is for percussion. Can come and move your feet. It makes you feel like dancing when percussion gives the beat. Kettle drum are timpani, bells and cymbals, grand. Find yourself some spot, some pots and pans and make a kitchen band. And if you were a little kid, you would have done that too. Long, long time ago. Q. The letter Q is for quartet. It means the number four. Four singers or four players, it's a form we all adore. Duet means two, quintet means five, a trio means there are three, solo means all by yourself. It's easy as can be. R is for rhythm. Can you feel the beat as it flows through your fi our fingers and into our feet? And R is for ragtime, a hit for our nation. Just drag out a beat, and it's called syncopation. Beautiful. Look at this one. S is for strings. They can play fast or slow. Just pluck the, at them neatly or draw with your bow. So you have the viola, the violin, the the cello is this one, and this one, I can't remember what it is, but I know it belongs to the string family. Uh, the cello, the cello and the bass, the cello and the bass. And T is for tempo, it's the, it's the pace, we must go. Allegro means fast and lento means slow. Look at that. Interesting, right? U is for unison. At the same time, let's all sing together and it will sound fine. The V, the letter V is for vo our voice. So let the music ring. Our voice is our own instrument. We play it when we sing.
And that's what we like as a class. You like to sing. W, now W is for woodwind, woodwinds. They are shaped like hollow poles. When the air flows through the tube, it comes out through the holes. Toot toot. So you have the pazoon, the eight hole, the eight hour, the oboe, the clarinet, the flute, and the piccolo, which is the one that he has. The woodwinds are fa uh, are a family, and we must not forget piccolo, flute, oboe, bassoon, English horn, and clarinet. Well, that's what it says. It says English horn, not English hour. X is for xylophone. Xylophone begins with X. I'm sure you understand that all you need to play it is a mallet in your hand. Up and down the scale I go, a little fast, a little slow. Now Y is for yodel. We sing without, a, without words and make high and low noises. It's neat. Have you heard? Z is for zither, a flat box with strings. You strum them or pluck them. Do you do many things? Now here's the end of our music spree. So please share your music from With Love, a to Z. The end. And as you know, this unit is going to be fun for Pre-K 102 because our Pre-K 102 loves music, loves to dance and move, and loves to sing. So this, mu this M and this unit for music study, we're going to make a lot of fun out of it. Have a great day and watch the next video. Ta-da!